In this video, we're going to discuss three methods you can use to update the firmware on your Chiggy and some of the pitfalls you may encounter. If you have any problems with the update, just call Nick. No, he'll, no, 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 don't call me. He'll come to your house and he'll do it for you. No, yeah. no. Listen to the video, <laughs> learn it yourself. Don't take the easy route out and pick the phone up. That's the whole point in the video. Oh, well, you must watch the video. So we're going to be discussing the three methods for updating the firmware on the Chiggy. I've made some animated videos to show you step by step which buttons to press and we're also going to discuss some of the pitfalls. Your phone has a Chiggy Go app. The app is used so you can view your dash cam footage, but it will also tell you when there's a new firmware available after you have connected the app to the Chiggy for the first time. So I've made an animated video to show you the first time of logging onto the Chiggy with an iPhone. When we connect the app to the Chiggy, we are connecting to the Wi-Fi being transmitted by the Chiggy. Having connected to the Chiggy, the app now knows which firmware version you're on and will advise of any updates available each time you open the app. So what if I have trouble connecting to the Chiggy? If you go into the Wi-Fi settings on your iPhone, there's a little eye on the right of the connection. Click that and tell it to forget the connection and then start afresh with a new connection. Sometimes that works. Failing everything, I found if I go into airplane mode, come out of airplane mode, then sometimes that works. So give both a try. Bear in mind, all three methods will require an SD card to be in the Chiggy and formatted ready for use because the firmware basically goes onto the SD card and when the Chiggy boots up, it will update itself from the SD card. I put a new 256 gigabyte SD card in the Chiggy when I got it. At that point, the Chiggy asked if it could format the SD card. It records all the dash cam footage to it. I've never bothered taking it out. I've just updated it with that one in there and I've never had any issues. I've done many updates without issue. So there's three methods, Richard. Can you give me an overview of those three methods, please? So method number one is when we have Wi-Fi or mobile signal near the Chiggy. So we're going to use the Chiggy to connect to that Wi-Fi and download the firmware and allow it to update itself. Method one allows you to download a beta version of the firmware. Beta software is still in the development stage. However, I have always downloaded the beta versions and never had any issues. If you've got, say, a Chiggy Lite, which you can't take off the bike, you haven't got any mobile signal or Wi-Fi, then you need to use method two. We're going to need to download the firmware onto our iPhone somewhere where we do have, come to the Chiggy and then do the update. If there is a firmware update available, you'll be offered the chance when you open the app. Once downloaded, you can close the app window, but you must keep the app running in the background. If you close the app down completely, the firmware will be lost. So method number three, 
We won't go into too much detail, but basically involves downloading the firmware files onto your computer and then placing them on the SD card. If the SD card has not been previously formatted by Chiggy, then it will need to be formatted to the FAT32 system. FAT32 is a old system and is unavailable in modern Windows operating systems, so you may need to find a third-party utility. If not, simply placing it into the Chiggy and turning it on and Chiggy will ask to format it. Basically, we put the firmware on it, put the SD card back in, turn the Chiggy on and then it will update itself. Now, this can be useful as well if you want to, for any reason, downgrade the firmware level to an earlier version. Or if you've messed your Chiggy up on a different update, like you've lost power halfway through the update and it won't be responsive, this is the method you, you need to use. The SD card goes into the Chiggy underneath. You've got a rubber strip here with two tiny little screws. And to undo those screws, you need the torque screwdriver that comes in the box with the Chiggy. Be really careful, they're tiny and they could drop out. Once you've got that open, you have the SD card. When you push it in, you'll need to just push it with the end of the screwdriver and it will spring in place. When you take it out, be very careful because when you push it in and it springs out, if you slip on the screwdriver, it will shoot over the floor. So a good tip is to put a cloth here to catch you it. You can do that. It will yeah. happen. And just one final thing, the position for the update button can vary on the Chiggy, so you might have to look under features or it might be in the first page of the settings. Well, I hope that helped. And remember where to get your Chiggy from. Life is a ride.